Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Chopper. I hope you guys are having a good weekend, or at least better than mine. I've had all kinds of tech issues. If you guys watched my MLB show this morning, oh, that was a terrible pain to get that thing going. Wasn't able to get audio working, wasn't able to get video. Eventually figured it out, but here I'm just recording this in advance. So hopefully no issues here. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below with your guys' favorite bets of the day. And shout out to Jim Nicolaitis in the YouTube chat yesterday. He had shouted out that he was betting the Detroit Tigers versus Texas Rangers under seven and a half runs. That game ended up hitting the under, especially because John Gray just pitched so well, didn't give up any runs in that start. That helped power the under seven and a half in that game. So, Jim, you win one free week of our premium betting Discord channel. Message me on Twitter so I can get you set up with that. Good luck with everybody else in your bets today. Just let me know below what it is that you're betting. And these are my favorite bets for Saturday Night Slate. To start us off, I'm looking at Julio Urias for over four and a half strikeouts. Now, unfortunately, the pickings are pretty slim for tonight's slate. There's only a few games. We don't have lines up for all of them yet. And another thing also with those five games, the pitching is just horrendous across the board. But there's also really inflated home run props. So I don't see a situation like yesterday where we were able to get Kyle Tucker really long odds to homer. He was what carried my baseball bets yesterday. I don't see a situation like that. The only one prop that really stands out in particular for the night slate of games is over four and a half strikeouts for Julio Urias. It's a really low number for him against the Cleveland Guardians. We have Urias projected for 5.6 strikeouts. So the over here is good for a 68% win rate and a 32% expected ROI. So diving into Urias's numbers this year, he's been a disappointment relative to other years. There's no doubt about that. His strikeout rate is down. He's striking out less than eight hitters per nine innings. But we've seen a little bit of uptick in strikeouts in the last few starts. Last time out against the Giants, which is not an easy matchup, a season-high 10 strikeouts for Julio Urias. The game before that, he had a tough matchup against the Mets. He only had four Ks. Before that, he struck out eight Pirates hitters. So overall, 22 strikeouts for Julio Urias across his last three starts. I'm hoping this is a sign of things to come for Urias in terms of his strikeout numbers because he struck out 26.2% of the hitters he faced last year. This year, it's down to 21.9. But I think those recent starts, like I said, a sign of things to come. This is a good buy low spot on Julio Urias. So I'm deciding with over four and a half strikeouts. If you guys want the best way to make money in sports betting, it's with free money. And that is what FanDuel Sportsbook is giving away because they're going to give you $200 for free when you sign up for the first time. This is all you have to do. Sign up using the link in the description box below. You have to be a new user to FanDuel, so not an existing customer of their DFS site or of their sportsbook. You sign up using that link, and then you head on over to FanDuel. You place a $5 bet on anything you like, and that $5, they're going to give you $200 for free once you make a $5 bet. That's it. That's all you have to do. Don't pass up free money, and FanDuel is going to give you $200 of it for free when you sign up using that link below. Since there aren't very many prop bets to like today, I want to give you guys a futures bet that I think is really, really good value. And that is Spencer Strider at 12 to 1 to win the rookie of the year. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that last night I bet him at 13 to 1 to win the NL rookie of the year. Those odds have changed at FanDuel. That that's where the best odds were available yesterday. The the odds got reshuffled this morning. And Strider's now the betting favorite to win the rookie of the year over on FanDuel. But DraftKings hasn't updated their odds yet. He's still 12 to 1 there. So this is also the value of line shopping. Why you want to make sure you get the best possible available line. Because Strider is now down to plus 370 on FanDuel. But like I said, DK still has him at 12 to 1. And just look at some of the other names who are on the list. At least for DraftKings purposes, Mackenzie Gore is the betting favorite. But he struggled in each of his last two starts against the Colorado Rockies. That's really, really bumped up. His ERA. So that's something that's kind of brought him down the board for me. Then you've got Nolan Gorman, who hasn't hit the ball quite as well as of late for the Cardinals in the middle of their order. Then Seiya Suzuki, he's hurt. O'Neill Cruz, he hasn't even been called up yet. So kind of by default, I get to Strider as the guy who's most likely to win the award. And once again, he's 12 to 1. So we're getting really long odds there on DK. And you look at the numbers for Strider this year. He has been ridiculously good. He has a 2.45 ERA, a 2.76 expected ERA. If you've watched him pitch at all, he is so much fun to watch. He throws nothing but heat. 98.3 average fastball velocity. He's thrown as hard as 102 this year, so he throws the ball extremely hard. And 
I think that kind of helps build a little bit of a narrative too, where he's becoming such a fan friendly favorite pitcher with a nickname Quadzilla. Because if you guys aren't aware of his nickname, basically he was a guy that was throwing like 92, 93 miles per hour and then really focused on an off season leg training program, got massive legs. And all of a sudden the dude was throwing hundred plus miles per hour, 38.6% K rate this year. Walk rate is in check at 11.9%. He's looked unhittable as of late. I think he's the best rookie in the entire national league. And we're getting them at really long odds at 12 to 1, but that's a number that's not going to be available for long. So we should bet it now before DK moves their odds like FanDuel did last night. So to recap, I have two bets that I'm giving out to you guys today. One of them is a prop bet for today, Julio Urias over four and a half strikeouts, and then a futures bet. Spencer Strider, 12 to 1 to win the National League Rookie of the Year. I absolutely love the value. That is my favorite bet that you can get anywhere for any sport right now. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and of course, leave a comment below. I want to know what you guys are betting on today. Give yourself a chance to win a free week to our premium betting Discord. Other than that, have a great rest of your weekend, and good luck today.